what's up guys it's your boy market be with eclipse lawn care and boy did we have a blast last week over in louisville kentucky over at the gie expo plus and whatnot oh man did we have a blast hey what's up guys good morning well, it's Thursday. We're here in Kentucky. Let's go ahead and uh, get up so we can hit up the GIE Expo this morning. It's probably about 6 o'clock right now. Been waiting for this moment all, all season. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get to work. Can't wait to go. Oh, good morning, rise and shine, rise and grind, guys. Oh, man. Been waiting for this, for this day to come. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. And, uh, man, it's gonna be a fun day. It's gonna be a fun day. Let's get after it. Woo! Yeah, we took a couple of friends, man. A couple of locals here. A couple of big shots. All right, y'all, we're here at the GIE Expo. Right behind me, guys, we're gonna, this is the first day. We're gonna try to see if we can uh, meet other YouTubers. And we got uh, this guy, this Mexican right here. What it do, what it do? What it do, what it do? <laughs> we got his homeboy, Ricky, and we got the Mo Ranger holding on for dear life over there. Check him out, bro. He got that kung fu grip on that little <laughs> <laughs> bar there. And then we got Mr. Mustache Man right here. Yeah, buddy. All right, all right. Let's see if we can't get into some trouble over here at the GIE Expo, man. It's gonna be, uh, this is my fourth year. First year, uh, Mustache Man. Tino, T-Dog over here, first time. His boy Ricky, first time. The Mo Ranger, first time. It's gonna be a blast. Shout out to uh, the Mo Ranger. He went. Shout out to uh, DFW Lawn Care Landscaping. Marco the Mustache Man. It was a blast. It was a blast. They had a blast. There were the. Uh, it was their first time going over to the GIE Expo. And I'll tell you what, guys. If you have not experienced, you're missing out. You are missing out. If you didn't go this year or this season. Go next season. Of course, next season is not going to be the GIE Expo anymore. It's going to be called the Equip Expo. So please make plans like right now to go next year. gonna make the drive and it's about 12 hours get you a partner take somebody with you that way you could tag team the drive that's what we did and that's what made the uh, the travel a whole lot better a whole lot funner but if you do live 10 12 hours away I, and you're gonna go by yourself I suggest to uh, fly if you got the uh, means to fly fly I was gonna fly because I was planning uh I was gonna go by myself, but then uh, the Mo Rangers were like, "Hey, you know what? I kind of want to go this year, man." I was like, "Well, then let's uh, let's mount up and uh, let's do it." And then, of course, my other buddy, I, Mr. Uh, Mustache Man, aka DFW Landscaping, check him out on Instagram as well, guys. He had a blast. I mean, these guys were uh, were starstruck, awestruck, all that good stuff. You know, we got there. We actually uh, spent an extra day there. We got there a day early, earlier. Usually whenever I go, I usually go on uh, on Wednesday and I'm usually there by Wednesday afternoon. But this time we went Tuesday, we got there Tuesday. We rested, we hung out, 
we did so much stuff before the uh, event even uh, before it even uh, started Tuesday we did the uh, Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory that was dope man we got to uh, see a lot of memorabilia a lot of the old school bats like Babe Ruth got to use and whatnot and you know being a baseball fan it was cool it was like 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 uh, living the dream right so we did that on Tuesday then Wednesday uh, you know we got to do the batting cages and all that if you guys haven't seen the previous video we did a little bit of little batters up and whatnot but it was cool guys had fun Wednesday uh, we did the uh, they opened up early I think it was from uh, well not early but they opened up at 3 to 7 or something like that so we got to go and just uh, experience just the indoor section of the GIE Expo we saw a lot of cool cool dudes a lot of youtubers we didn't get to see everybody not you got you got to realize this is this is a big deal this is huge like it's overwhelming I think it takes more than a couple of few days just to uh, experience the whole thing because there's just so much to see so much to do and you don't get to see everybody that you want to see but it was all cool we went to uh, Tony's Tony's Lawn Care, uh, did a little Chili's meetup on Wednesday night, which was awesome. It was cool. We got to meet uh, his family, his dad. His dad is awesome. Shout out to Tony's dad as well. He's a cool guy, man. Cool dude. Of course, uh, we didn't we didn't get to eat, partake dinner with him just because we got there a little late, and there were totally understaffed. It was crazy because uh, most of the restaurants. They're in Louisville, Kentucky. You got to say it right. It, it ain't Louisville. It's Louisville. It's like you got to have, like, you know, you got drink in your mouth. Louisville. That's the way you say it. Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, we got there to the Chili's meetup uh, a little later, but it seemed like every, every restaurant, every fast food joint there was understaffed. It was way different than it is in Texas. Thank God I live in Texas love my great state of texas the lone star state yeah buddy check it out but kentucky uh it was everybody was understaffed it didn't matter where you go restaurants were uh seemed like they were still kind of shut down which was a bummer sucks but other than that it was great to meet 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 uh old faces that i met in the past uh like i mentioned tony shout out to tony's lawn care dude's a nice dude his dad is a great dude awesome dude um who well i mean we we just seen everybody man we seen uh keith kelfis first time meeting keith kelsey i've been to the uh gi expo about four times never got to meet the dude finally got to meet the dude finally got to take a picture with the dude i didn't even know what to say i was so like i was so starstruck with uh keith kelfis i just kind of stood there you know what i mean I was up, I was in line, right? My buddies had to kind of like push me to butt in, right? Just to shake his hand. The first thing that came out of mouth, I looked this big old, he had this huge camera that he vlogs with. The first thing I said, is that yours? And of course, everybody started laughing. That's the first thing that came to my mind. I didn't know what to tell, say to Keith Kelfis. I mean, he's a goat, right? He's the OG of OGs. He's the pimp daddy of lawn care and whatnot. So, I was, I was a little, uh, taken by taken back by all the uh the stardom there with keith kelfis so shout out to keith kelfis sorry man if i if i sounded like uh <laughs> like i was crazy uh i was just nervous my man my bad but he gave me some pointers here and there and uh it's all good man shout out to keith kelfis we saw uh oh yeah my boy seth the lawn surgeon that dude is that dude is cold man cold as ice man he's awesome dude every time uh Every time we go to the GIE Expo, I always run into him. Say what's up, man. Dude is down to earth. Down to earth. Uh, so shout out to Seth, the lawn surgeon, man. Uh, man, there's just so many people that I didn't get to see. So many people that I've seen. Uh, man, I'm, you know, you get to try out all the uh, all the equipment. Trying out all the equipment is, is awesome. That's always cool. Um, the food sucks at the GIE Expo, man. I'm not even going to lie. My boy, the Mole Ranger, got a. It, it was supposed to be like a pulled pork 
barbecue sandwich but it looked more like a pull pork crappy sandwich it was just that it was like a sloppy joe to be honest with you so i seen him uh order that that ugly thing and i was like ah you know what man give me go ahead and give me a nachos with a cheese just regular cheese nachos right and uh even the cheese nacho was horrible they give you this little bag with chips and this little tray and they just kind of put the cheese on it i mean come on open the bag put it on the tray spread the cheese on it that's an that to me that's not in texas that's that's what we call nachos i guess uh in louisville kentucky it's a little bit different um but other than that i mean the food the food was a restaurant's food was not so good not complaining i still had a blast i will go again in a heartbeat i'm gonna go next year for sure and i'm gonna try to see if i could bring a little bit uh more texas boys out there man kind of represent the tech the great state of texas the lone star state as i was saying but we had a blast uh let's see uh man, we met so many oh we got to meet uh oh wow let me see. who did we oh agni moen ben kh jt his girl they were the first ones that we met over at uh fourth fourth street live they're always a blast they're funny man you know the way they are on camera man that's the way they are down to earth people man great uh conversation with them man it was it was a blast they were the first ones that we uh see on seen over at a uh, fourth street live and we also oh we also saw uh ranger ranger's a big dude man wrestler dude man gave me that uh big old mitten shook his hand i thought he was gonna body slam me or uh pick me up and uh suplex me or something that that dude's huge man big 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 dude uh so shout out to ranger man good dude for sure uh people that i wish i would have met wow dude there's just so many oh, I, I couldn't even think it's so overwhelming guys that i mean you're when you go inside the building you're just like a you're like a little boy at the at Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. You know what I'm saying? You want to eat something. You want to eat everything. You want to lick everything. You want to touch it. I mean, it, you want to. It's it's a blast. Love it. Come on, guys. If you haven't gone, especially you guys uh, here around the the Texas area, come on, man. Represent Texas. Um, I mean, it's it's like you're at a candy store, like I mentioned. You know, you'll be you'll be walking all of a sudden. You see like the Mo Ranger kind of veer off and he's like, oh, I see somebody, I see somebody. Oh, it's Mike Andy's, bro. Let's go, let's go meet Mike Andy's. So we, I was like, what? There's Mike Andy's right there, his booth. And uh, so we went to go meet Mike Andy's. Awesome dude. He sounds like he does on, on the camera, dude. Awesome dude, smart dude. Bro, I like the way he speaks. He speaks very eloquently. Is that a word? Elo is that even a word? speaks real proper real real cool dude man i'm not even gonna lie like he's i was nervous to meet him you know what i'm saying like i kind of just had this like cheesy smile the whole time like i didn't even know what to say if he had a big camera i would have been is that yours but he didn't he had a he had some other people uh filming and whatnot cool dude man oh man we saw we saw so many booths of course the big name brands still echo skag you know what i'm saying uh gravely every 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 big vendor every brand that you know was out there they had a booth inside and outside there was other there was other uh off brands or china brands maybe like mowers that i've never heard of which i got to try and test out which was dope um wow dude uh who else who else i mean there's just so many people that we missed uh Andy from Cut and Clean, he didn't make it. He's always a blast. He's he's always a blast to uh, hang out with and talk to, especially there at the uh, at the GI Expo. We didn't see him. He didn't uh, sh he didn't go this time. So hopefully maybe next next uh, season he'll he'll be there. Who else, man? There are just so many people, man. And and if I forget, if I met you, I'm sorry. I just can't think of it, especially right now because it is so hot and humid. But. Uh, let me know in the comments if uh if uh if you met me or if i if i met you or, or however however is that said um wow let's see oh i'll tell you one thing that i enjoyed that i that i got on one of the equipments is one of these big old cranes or not a crane but it's like a scissor lift 
but it goes like freaking 75, 80 feet up in the air. I didn't even go halfway. I was so scared. Oh man, here, here, here's a little, here's a little uh, view of it. All right, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Mark B with Eclipse. I don't care. Check it out, guys. We're on this uh, pretty sick boom system. Woo! I'm getting freaked out over here, guys. But y'all guys can see me. We got the uh, the GIE Expo demo. Let me show you the little controls we got here, guys. So these are little controls. Operate the lower boom, upper boom. Uh, let's try to see if we can't go up a little bit more. This is kind of freaky. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm scared. Your boy is freaking scared, bro. Like, yeah, I'm going down, actually. I'm freaking out. I am freaking out. Yeah, we better start going down. <laughs> this, is, this is nuts, man. This is freaking nuts, bro, but it's fun. It's fun, pretty fun. All right, Eclipse out. So that was scary. I was trying to go all the way to 75 feet, but I couldn't. Your boy couldn't hang. I couldn't do it. The thing was just boom, 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 shaking up there. Uh, I, re I was looking at the little boom arm, and it looked like it was it was just bending like this, right? I guess, I mean, it's made to give, but still, it was freaking me out. The whole time I was thinking, I was like, if that snaps, your boy's done. You know what I'm saying? So, what else? What else, man? We seen... Uh, Oh, the uh, aftermath or the GIE rally that Naylor puts on every year. Shout out to Naylor for putting that on. That was a blast. It was at a different place. It used to be at the Mega, Ca Mega Caverns. Now it's at the uh, at the King something, some, Copper King Brewery Distillery or something like that. That was dope. But there's so much people there. Naylor, I think uh, we need a bigger place, my man. Uh, for sure a big place we we yeah we need a bigger place i think it's just get the rally is getting bigger 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 every year which is cool which is dope um almost won me a backpack blower i was one number off from winning a uh echo backpack blower uh let's see oh yeah uh tino y'all guys know tino's from aj aj's lawn service right here tino right there tino you guys can see him on uh, Instagram. He's big. He's big on Instagram. He's a big wig on Instagram. Uh, we hung out with him. Uh, he was there. Texas board representing. Shout out to Texas Lone Star State. Great dude, man. And his boy, Ricky, uh, was there too. Awesome dudes, man. They had a blast. It was their first time. He was there doing some interviews uh, on behalf of Echo Does Business or Echo Means Business. So shout out to uh, Echo as well. Man, there's just so much stuff to do, so much things to see. Uh, wow, what's another thing that I... Man, oh, uh, what uh, the Cujo Shoes, we went to that to their booth. They were awesome people. We met the family, uh, the guy that owns uh, Cujo's. We met his, his dad. His dad was cool as ice, man. I liked him. Really cool guy. They got some brand new shoes, new designs. Uh, I should have pre-ordered one, but I'm gonna pre-order one probably here in the next uh, few weeks. Won't get it till spring, which is okay, cause it'll be a uh, perfect timing there. Got to try my, my size. And uh, yeah, there was a, man, there was a dude there that had a size 14. My jaw dropped. I was like, whoa. Almost as big as my arm, which is crazy um wow there's just so much so much people there man it's just overwhelming man but we had a blast we had a blast the guys had a blast we're definitely going to go out there next season i mean i invite you guys to come i mean it's cool it's cool it's it's, it's awesome man so all right guys well i'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and get out here i gotta go and uh mow a couple of lawns that are right here guys please subscribe please like and uh if you were at the gie expo and i didn't see you let me know in the comments if i saw you let me know in the comments i'm out of here peace